Hi friends, welcome to POFO WordPress theme. In this video we will show how to use blog list shortcode in WP Bakery page builder. And also explain about different helpful settings and different styles of blog list shortcode. Blog list shortcode is the best option to list your recent or category specific blog articles or news block in your home page or in any other specific pages to let your users know about what's going on recently in your company and better reading materials. Bofo provide many creative blog listing styles which you can select and set up related settings for blog home, category and archive pages from appearance customizer panel and all those same settings are available in this blog list shortcode also to achieve your desired blog listing style in any page. So first of all log into WordPress admin backend make sure you have added post categories and post articles. You can manage post categories from here. You can see already created categories here and you can add new post category using this section. You can add new post by clicking add new link under posts from left navigation. You can enter post title here. You can enter post content using this area maybe using plain text editor or visual composer backhand or frontend editor. There are six different post formats like standard, image, gallery. In case of gallery. You can upload gallery images here under POFA post format settings. For video type post, you can mange video type, self-hosted or external URL. In case of self-hosted, you can enter full video MP4 URL here. In case of external URL, you can insert your YouTube or Vimeo URL here as per pattern mentioned here. For audio type post, you can enter your embed code here. For quote type post, you can enter your quote content here. You can manage post level settings using POFO post settings. You can assign categories here to this post. You can enter your desired tags to this post here. Upload feature image here. Now go back to page where you want to add blog list shortcode. Click on add element. Add row shortcode. Inside column, click on plus icon. Click on POFO tab and pop up here. Click on blog list shortcode. There are many different creative blog list styles provided by POFO theme. Let me select full width, it will looks like this. Here you can select your desired categories from which you want to display post in this blog list grid. Let me select standard. It will list all posts which I have added in standard category. You can set posts order by date, id, author etc. Let me select date. Let me select posts sort by descending order. You can select your desired animation from this available list. You can enter animation delay in milliseconds. If you want pagination then you need to enter number of posts per page. Let me enter 4 posts per page. Let me switch on pagination. There are two styles for pagination, number and infinite scroll. You can switch on off post thumbnail. Post featured image only, you can switch on this option to always display the post featured image instead of post type audio, video etc. You can use any thumbnail version using this option if you don't want to show full original image size. You can switch on off post title, post author, post author image and post date option here. You can also set post date format here. Post excerpt on off, you can set excerpt length in words. You can switch on off post categories, post likes, post comments and read more button option here. Under style tab, there will be different settings here as per blog list style selected. You can manage box background color, post meta color, post meta hover color, post title and post meta title case. Typography tab, here you can manage typography of title. You can manage font size, line height, letter spacing font weight, change font color, italic font on off, hover color, font underline on off, switch on auto responsive font size. Using this option font size will be auto responsive in mobile devices instead of font size mention in font size text box. Go to extra tab, in case if you want to customize this shortcode deeply then you can insert unique element id for blog list element.
you can insert custom CSS class name here and then write custom CSS code using element ID and class name. You can add custom CSS code in appearance customize panel or you can add custom CSS code in child theme style file also. Let me save changes and preview it. You can see four posts and then pagination here. Click on next to see other four posts. Let me go back to general tab and select classic blog list style. This is the grid style where you can select number of columns as per your need. Let me select two columns. You can manage spacing between columns here. Let me select very small. You can manage all this options as per other style. Style tab, you will have some different options here as per style selected. Let me save changes and let's check preview. You can see classic style here. Let me go back to general tab and set pagination style to infinite scroll. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see loader is visible here and pagination is working with infinite scroll. Let me go back to general tab and select list style. We have continue reading button in this style so let me switch on read more button and add button text. Save changes and let's check preview. This is the list style format. Let me go back to general tab and select grid style. Let me select three columns here. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see grid style here. Let me go back to general tab and select masonry style. It will be same like grid format but if you are using different height image then masonry is best to use. Simple style. In this case you can switch off post thumbnail. Save changes and let's check preview. You can see simple blog list style here. You can same other blog list styles with same type of settings. I hope this video has been helpful. Any more question about same more theme you can contact via our support. Thank you for watching.